And if you live in Prattville, Otaga County, or anywhere in the surrounding area, really, and you love pickleball, listen up. Here with the details about a new facility is Mayor Bill Gillespie and Kelly Cook, Cook Parks and Recreation <laughs> Director. Kelly, what's happening? What are the changes? We are super excited. We kind of identified a need early on with pickleball. Ooh, and people it, love pickleball. It has become so popular so quick, and we just opened four new courts, and immediately we decided that is not enough. So we had an opportunity to add an additional 14 courts and we are so excited about it. Uh, the ones that we have currently stay packed all the time. Um, even in this weather, the overcast, they're out there playing in it and we just identified that need and said, you know what, we've got to make a change, make sure that we have enough to accommodate everybody. So we're so excited. Now we'll have 18 courts, um, wow. the most in the river region. So we're, we're really excited about that. Mayor, are you a pickleball player? I have played before, but uh, you know, I'm still learning the game and everything. First heard about it maybe about 15 years ago but uh, you know he's really been coming on with uh, just a uh so much enthusiasm behind it, but you know, I hope everybody can find time to come to our Newton Park because it's named after a family there that actually started as a part of our hospital, and so it has Newton Park has a lot of history. But not only do we have the pickleball, we have the tennis, the skateboard, and so much going on in that area. So nice, quaint little neighborhood park. So I hope everybody will find it, and it's easy to get to. Prattville's filled with great parks. Great parks. We were talking about Pratt Park was voted one of the best. America's favorite park. America's favorite yep. park. And then now you have a park that's turning into a pickleball <laughs> park is what it'll probably be known as eventually. I'm a little biased, but I do think that we've got some great parks in our city. And this is just one more example of ways that we can renovate a space that we already have. Um, we are growing leaps and bounds in our community. and. The, the need for more green space, the need for more accommodations in the Parks and Rec Department is always out there. And so taking something that we've had in place for several years and being able to renovate that and make it modern, it, it, it's exciting to be a part of. Mayor, she mentioned how Prattville is continuously growing. I'm sure that makes you feel really good inside as a mayor, but what do you think keeps bringing families to Otago County, to Prattville specifically? I think it's so many things. You know, we don't have a lot of the big buildings like over Montgomery and Birmingham, but we have, I think, some of the best, best people around. But you know, a lot of things, you know, we're really good with Kelly Cook and her Parks and Recs Department and so many other things we've been able to build to get people to get out, enjoy the family and their friends and the outdoor activities. Thank goodness our council is supportive of that and everything else. So just been a lot of togetherness coming together for us to be able to improve a lot of our parks. I mentioned to her a few years ago, there's going to be the year of the parks and we keep having <laughs> that again and again and again. And so look forward to that for many years to come. Year of the parks. We're talking about the pickleball courts. Tell people again about all the different parks and all the different facilities you have going on. you got a lot going on. We we do, absolutely. The best way to keep up with us is through social media. We have a great website. We actually just revamped a website our webmaster did a couple months ago, and it's amazing. So prattleal.gov is where we keep all of our information. We have a Prattville Parks and Recreation Facebook page people can follow. We also have our city Facebook page, so we try to keep all of our uh, information relevant and up to date. So anything that they need to know, um, as soon as we get finished with the couple of weeks, the pickleball courts will be open and ready for the public. We'll put all of that information out. Um, have a big celebration, open it up, welcome everybody. So they just follow us or they can always stop by our department. Yeah. Sounds like a good idea. And you heard Kelly, those parks are packed. <laughs> so you may want to plan and choose your time to go out there and play yeah. wisely or just go and jump on the court with somebody else, make some new friends and have a good time. Exactly. That's right. <laughs> and if I might, I'd like to wish everybody a happy 4th of July. Happy, happy. but safe 4th of July. Kelly has patriotic vibes with this <laughs> outfit on. I think she was planning for this. Have a happy, safe Always. 4th of July. Yeah. And, Thank you. And enjoy it in Prattville, right? My niece had told us all about all the events happening. We have a ton going on. A, that a day. lot going on in Prattville yeah. for the 4th of July. Thank y'all yeah. for joining Thank us you. here Thank on you. Alabama Live. We appreciate it.